Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Stories Untold. Episode 2, The Lab Conduct. I'm really enjoying the sort of, like, freeform... Some commands may be case-sensitive. Okay. Um, this freeform, like, text adventure, but there's shit going on in the background. It's kind of cool. So let's get straight to it. Oh! I wonder whether they're all connected. I would assume it would all connect up later on. I would assume. Alright. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. Okay. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. Okay. We have Artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from Crash Site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. What the f- okay. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Okay. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Okay. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. Okay. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Okay, no worries, Doc. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay. Uh, subject G, 1986 mem is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its in internal structure. So, we can go to the manual. Oh god, okay. Press the keys bracketed in the top menu to, to move between. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. Oh, oh god. Okay, alright, so. X-ray the artifact. So what do I need to do to X-ray? Camera, monitor, and charge. Okay. TV inputs. What the fuck? Oh, TV inputs R3, IR, XR. So we want monitor set to X-ray. Monitor set to X-ray. Charge CC86 X ray device. What the fuck is that? CC X8 X ray. Okay, alright, so that's there. Camera, X ray, TV. Okay. So. I'll turn it on. Okay, so that's charging. That's on. Okay. Okay, so that... Okay. Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the, the surrounding organic that? material. And no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Okay, looks like a ball. Okay, experiment complete. Woo! Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. Okay, so let's hang on. Let's just turn. No, no, no. Shit. Okay. So that turns the. Okay, so let's just reset everything. So we need to do a red laser. So let's do concentrated light, 650 nanometers. So that should be this one. Oh, power on. 650 nanometers. 
Um, and then the modern needs to be set to RGB, which I believe is that one. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's a hard. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. What is a heart doing in there? Okay. Demonstrate the effects of light. Okay, so use a green. So what nanometer was that? By 10. Okay. 10. Nothing? Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Ah, oh, okay. Let's keep going. Increase again. Increasing again, Doc. You wouldn't put me in danger, would you? Blue. Okay, uh, and that is 450. Oh, shit, no. 455. Oh. Oh god. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Oh, okay. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Okay, so we have a beating heart in the fucking safe. Alright. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplified gain sets. Okay, so hang on. Let's just turn everything we don't need off. So let's just turn that off. Uh, I'll leave the camera on. Uh, okay. So, acoustic resonant properties begin acoustic resonance. So, that's free. So, we need the signal generator and the amplifier. So, that would be. Oh, that would be, hang on, six. Signal generator and amp. Okay. So, try with 250 hertz. Fifty, two fifty. Okay, I'm in. I think that's right. Now, that's a sine wave. Let's try that out. Not Nothing much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Okay. No worries, duck. What are we doing? Crank 500. Okay, alright. Let's just fucking do that, shall we? Crank it all the way up to 500. Oh, so close. And all the way up to 5. Oh. Something. It's definitely you're reacting. Seeing. Some fluctuations in activity should we increase to the risk of damage. What about the long tier? Hey, hey, wait a minute, what's going on with Blake? Like, hey. Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. What do you mean? What? What? Switch to square rave, maintain a current frequency, and gain. Okay. Oh, oh god. Something bad's gonna happen. Is it gonna... Seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. Yes. But you need to trust us and keep going. No. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to drill into it now? Maintain the gain and the square and bring the waveform frequency up to 1000. Fucking blow up. Oh, God. Oh, great. The camera, bro. Oh. 
activity registering. We did it. You blew it up. Can you hear it? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. I'm the experiment, aren't I? Stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. Okay. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Okay. Okay, I'm going to drill. All right. This isn't sure your next of king is up to. Okay. This is gonna go fucking well. Alright, drill press. Switch drill on. Ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger sync master as normal. Okay, so turn everything off. Okay, so that off, that off, off. Camera on, that's off, that's off, that's off, that's off. Okay. Fucking, this is gonna go horribly! Horribly! Oh. Uh oh. How do uh -oh. you feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. I should be scared. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. What do you mean, continue? What What is there to do? Make con- Oh! I swear, I swear, I swear. Oh no, no, okay, fine. It is extremely dangerous to handle any items within the cont- Oh, you're killing me. That's what you're doing, you're killing me. Alright, fine. You want me to open it? Fine. Uh... Stay calm. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. Uh... I'm sorry? I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I'm sorry. I'm dead. I know how difficult this must be. But you can do this. It's time to remember. Remember what? <laughs> ah, okay. I knew that was gonna be a fucking jump scare. Alright. Alright, fine. I'm going to talk to now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. It's like a conscious black box. Okay. It can show you its memories. Look into it. it the don't... visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. Don't really want to. play out. Don't really want to. Okay. Didn't quite get that one. You wake up in a cryopod, struggling against gravity. You force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills. You have to get out of here. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Look around. The craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight and the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at terminal. The monitor blinks demanding attention. The system looks usable. Use terminal. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Enter airlock. Memory action unavailable. Command... Um, Oh, goody! These memories are different. They're not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Oh, God damn it. Lean in. See what else it hides. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay. What the fuck is going on? 
You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright light pours through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. This is incredible. How are we getting all this? The crash site smack billows from a down ship. Upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Look at the star patterns. You don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Um, squeeze through metal? Crash sites and mic billows from a downship, exterior lights flickering on and off, wreckage around you. <sighs> Move to wreckage. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of a wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Okay, look around. Circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Greet. Figure. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You should be proud of yourself. God, I'm going to fucking die. Oh, okay. They did some experiments on them. Okay. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Uh, look around. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that jump across the room and into a chest. Fate have tortured us. This doesn't happen. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? Set together a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. Screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols on what could be numbers and rhythm. Okay, so it can't interpret what it is. Um, so let's. I mean, the running pin to the wall is probably like information about vitals and shit. Same with the display monitor. Um, move out of bed. Um, exit bed. You can't reach your door. Effectively tethered to the machine. Pull. Wires. Oh, okay. What just happened? What's that alarm? We yeah, could... There's been a disconnection in quarantine lab 15. Find out what's going on. Ah, okay. Stop. Specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. <laughs> uh... That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. Nope. You fucked me over, I'm gonna fuck you over! Alrighty then! Okay. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and a lock clamp shut. We are rolling together. Pick up device. Look at device. It was an access code terminal for a wired connection, allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to the codes. It's time to use them. Use codes. Oh that? God! What Never is? What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our system. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mistake, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it for the greater good. We 
we had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. We don't know what this might do to you in the long run. What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. So it's that one and that one. Haha, -ha, yes, exactly, right. Oh. Okay. They're all free. They're converted. Oh, wait. Uh oh. Um. Hi. That was weird. That was cool. That was different. That was weird. No fucking clue what's going on though. But let's continue and figure out what the fuck is going on because that was fucking weird. If you like this video and you like this chapter of Stories I'm Told, then please hit that like button or subscribe or whatever. I can't be bothered. No, not bothered. I can't. I hate doing all this preachy stuff. If you like it, watch. That's all good. That's all I want. Until next time, this is the Game Gem, signing out. <laughs>